What's up, Rockstars? Welcome to part 17 of Today at RSG. How about that intro? Alrighty guys, what you see before you here is one hell of a Miata. It has an LSX and a big old blower hanging out that front end there. He races down at Irwindale if you want to catch him on Saturdays, I believe he said. See that baby roll down that eighth mile. And if having that Pro Charger and an LSX in your Miata isn't enough, he's got a little bottle of Happy Juice right there in the back just in case. You know, just in case he's being chased by the devil or something? <laughs> oh, I'll give him a run for his money. Always a good idea to invest in racing seats, harness, and a parachute. You know, when you're going faster than the speed of sound. All that power going down to those Mickey Thompson sticky slick tires. Fun fact about Mickey Thompson is he invented the Christmas tree. Look it up. Alrighty guys, and that does it for this monster of a Miata. He just came in for an alignment to be prepped for his drag racing. Also, if you guys need an alignment, please come on in. We also do corner balancing. And if you don't know what that is, it's like a very, very intricate type of alignment that uses your body weight for detailed results. A little more intricate than that, but it's for real hardcore race car drivers, race cars. If you're into that, let us know. Alrighty guys, first off, right off the bat, I have to tell you, the Supra, it's NA. That's right, no turbos here. This is your base model Supra. Thank God it's manual, the 5 speed. Honestly, I don't even mind that it's NA. I think it's pretty cool. Because at the end of the day, it's still a Supra. The owner told me that he purchased it recently at a used car dealership for $18,000. He said it has low miles, I don't remember exactly how many, but turbo or not, an MK4 Supra is a pretty damn good deal for $18,000. You can see he's got all sorts of goodies on here already. But what he came to Rockstar for was to have these PBM coilovers installed. This Supra has massive potential. All it needs is just a little bit of effort and a lot of money. One thing I love about this Supra is this functional air duct right here for the rear brakes. Let's go inside. Woo! There it is right there. Cooling down those rear brakes. All right, Johnny's just finishing up the coilovers here. Come on, do it. And just in case you guys didn't know, here's a little secret. If you own a Toyota, Johnny here, he's a Toyota tech. So what do you say we bring more Supras in, huh? Hey Johnny, fuck you. <laughs>
Alright guys, and lastly here, we had a Civic come in that's already got a few mods done to it. He was having this PRL Motorsport intake put on. Now I'm glad I had the opportunity to talk to this young gentleman that owned this vehicle and tried to convince him to stop spending money on his automatic Civic. Yes, this is a very nice car, but you should be investing your money into an S2000. How many of you guys can agree? Let me know in the comments. I mean, of course, to each their own, but I wish somebody gave me that advice 10 years ago, so I'm just passing along that information. Alrighty guys, and that does it for part 17. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video. Don't forget to check out our other videos. Kevin just posted a video about his car right here, his special project that we have going on here at the shop. Also big news, somewhere along the lines of this video being published, we have hit 500 subscribers, and we are that much closer to a million. So we'd like to thank you guys very much. We appreciate your viewership and your relationship with your car. Let's keep it healthy. Alrighty guys, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Good night. Good day. Good night.